Hey, Miles, it's Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Um, I guess it's probably safe to say that Notre Dame's offensive line was, was the best that you've seen in, in your young career. Um, just, just how eye-opening of an experience was that for you going up against them? Uh, it was a good experience, honestly, a good, I guess, opening experience for me to be a freshman and knowing what that caliber of O-line talent is and how I kind of stack myself up against them and see how I performed against them. And uh, I think it, I think it was, a, it was a great experience for me, honestly. And something I will always remember, learn, learn upon that and grow upon, upon them. And you know, just keep going from there. Are there some specific things that you can share just at doing some self scouting and, and watching, evaluating the film of how you played against them? Um, just maybe, you know, from a te technique standpoint or whatever that, that you know you need to, uh, to improve upon? Um, <clears throat> really, that, that effort was there for me on that game. For me, probably it was like more mental, more than physical, probably just use of, use of, use of hands and uh, pregame, like study, studying film, learning their sets and stuff like that. And, pre-snap pre reads and that those are pretty, pretty much the biggest things and you know to stand on top of stand on top of the plays knowing and knowing my play what I do and why I do it you know, things like that miles uh this is Larry Williams with tiger illustrated.com uh, what would you have said before the season if I told you you were going to play 60 snaps at Notre Dame um honestly would I would, probably would have been surprised at first and I would have started running just to get conditioned for it, which I'm uh, thankfully I was conditioned for it because we've been we've been working this whole time, so I was I was well conditioned for it and getting the playbook. I was I was good on that. So, but if you were to tell me that before I was in college, I would have been astonished at the most. Pretty much. Obviously, attrition and injuries have played a significant role in. Uh, freshman playing a lot more snaps in your mind with you like what what is your like optimum number of snaps like at what point do you think performance starts to maybe suffer um you know when you're on the field at a, after a certain point is it does that make sense like do i get tired after a number certain a certain number of plays something like that yeah, like what would the optimum number of snaps be to to generate in your mind like the best performance from you? Oh, I'm honestly uh, <laughs> when when a, when a general is running, it, it, honestly, I feel I feel I can go forever. I know I'm human, so I can't go forever. But I guess the maximum number of snaps, I'm not sure to be honest. But 60, 60 is a lot. But I was I was playing with good energy. The whole the whole game, so more than sixty, I guess. But you know, besides that, I'm not sure. Gotcha. Thank you. Hey, hey, Miles. This is Gavin Oliver with the ClemsonInsider.com. Um, just overall, what's this year been like for you? Um, did you come in uh, expecting to make such an immediate impact, or is this year kind of exceeded your expectations? Uh, most definitely exceeded my expectations from high school, and uh, it's been very a very eye opening experience. It, when I first came in, going to get our online, our online every day, it's it was very eye opening and surprising at the speed of how their how their blocking scheme, our blocking scheme was, and how fast they were able to cover up gaps and whatnot, and how good the pass blocking was. So, it took me about a month, a month to like get used to that, and catch up, catch up to their speed, and. Since then, I was I was kept up to speed, and I kind of slowed slowed everything down to how I was in high school. And now, just you know, trying to make it to where I, I can just do do what I do, knowing knowing my key and responsibility in the play and or the blitz that we're running, and just keep it as simple as possible. Miles, it's Trevor again. Um, how frustrating was it to go against a guy like Ian Book, who you know was able to make to extend so many plays and and find receivers downfield or or pick up chunks of yards with his legs in in the scramble drill? Um, and do you 
look forward to the challenge of um, potentially facing Jordan Travis of Florida State, who is is even more athletic than Ian Book. I do I do look forward to facing Florida State, a very athletic team. You know, I got to keep the quarterback in ten, which is always a good challenge. And Ian Book, he's a he's a great quarterback. He's really good at extending the plays and hitting targets on the run. And it's it's just football, so it's just just the challenge of keeping a mobile quarterback contained, especially a mobile quarterback that can hit his targets as well as Ian. So it's uh, really just keeping them contained. It was it was a pretty good challenge, but, you know, some things that we saw picked up on we'll fix later on. Miles, um, this is Jason Priester from Clemson SI. How um, difficult has it been to come in and play such a pivotal role in this defense, not only, you know, from a physical standpoint, from a mental standpoint? Yeah, I would most definitely say it's been more mental than physical by far because, you know, Coach Coach V has a big, huge playbook and so many blitzes, coverages and whatnot. And uh, probably up until maybe two, week, two weeks ago, I I felt – very comfortable with the playbook. Now I'm very comfortable with the playbook, but weeks before this, I was struggling because I have also have school football and, you know, life off the field and away from school. So it, it was a lot mentally, but, you know, it's kind of just getting into the grind of things and now I'm catching up on everything and now it's you know, all stacking up well together.